Welcome back, ladies and gents. So today we are going to be looking at a script, quite a powerful script, uh, that can help you do countdown timers, uh, stopwatches, so on and so forth. So let's get into it. Right, so let's get into it. Uh, no messing around today. Uh, so we're going to go to the OBS forums website as we always do. Uh, I will put the link in the description. Uh, it's a it's a Lua script. Um, I will put a link to um, uh, to a video about Python scripts from Andy Andy Lippy. So make sure we do check that out as well. Um, it just shows you how to install Python and stuff like that. But this is a Lua script as well. But it's just also good to have that installed. Anyway, so we're going to go to the download section. On here, uh, you come to this very complicated page. For me, it's way over my head. But the bit that we actually need is this section here, and then we'll go to the code, and then we just download the zip file. So once we've downloaded the zip file, we will go to. Bear with me. Let's go to the downloads. We'll come to this uh, zip folder here, uh, there, and what we're going to do is we'll unzip that. Uh, extract it and then we double click on here and double click on there and the one we're going to need is the stopwatch LUA at the bottom um, what we're going to do with this is we're just going to control C and copy this and then we need to go and find where we have it in our OBS folder so we're going to go to uh, local disk so this C and we're going to go to program files sometimes it might be program files 86 but yeah uh, check either or so obs studios and we're going to go to data this is me trying to remember where i've got to go it's you would think it'd be scripting but it's actually in plugins we go to front end tools we then go to scripts and then we just copy we've already copied it but then we just paste it into this section here so then we'll have it all ready because we've got all your, your scripts in one place. It makes it easier to find them when we need to add them into OBS. So next, we're going to open up OBS and just ignore the 25 in the in the top left hand corner. It will all become apparent ever so shortly. So we're just going to make that a little bit bigger. Um, so we have already added because we're going to need a text source. So I would suggest just adding a text source in. Call it stopwatch countdown, whatever you want to call it. Um, so now we go to tools we go to scripts and we have actually already got it in installed already but we'll just delete that uh, sorry we'll minus that so we'll get rid of that one and we'll show you how to add it in so we're going to do a plus and we're going to go stopwatch lua and open that so first off you come to a very basic version of it so it's a stopwatch uh basic you can select your 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 uh, source and we can just yeah literally start and stop it there you go so you can see it there it is literally start stop you can do a split as well and you can reset it uh another one with that one you can do a countdown so if you set the amount in your text source so we'll just move that to one side uh, move it there so we've got 25 there so we've got 250 let me just get that back up again and we can just start that countdown and it's not gonna work oh it's because no 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 that is right hang on why is that not working i don't know why that doesn't work so <laughs> i'll have a play around with that we might do a little update on that why it's not working but anyway that's the basic side we want the advanced this is what we really want this is what we really want overall. So, first thing we're going to need uh, with the advanced is you obviously select, you still got your time source. This is where we can select uh, with the advanced configuration. Bear with me. Display full format. We can remove leading zeros. So, that actually just gets rid of everything there. No leading zeros. At the moment, we're going to display it all. So, say, example, we're going to have 30 seconds. If we've got 30 seconds on the timer and we want to do display remove all in zeros that'll do it to 30 seconds down there or we'll do no leading zeros and it just literally the 30 seconds um 
this one we can have an audio so if you have got an audio for a caution so you're getting close to your time so in your, if you're doing a part of a, a speed run or a, uh, or you're up against time for your, your chat or anything like that you can have an audio source that plays out and you can set that up in OBS so that it will play uh, you can have a warning audio as well so you're getting even closer to time and the other bit we can do here so caution time we have got to use this format so example we'll get to 15 seconds i'll just do this it will change the uh the format there we go it's going to zoom in and out because i've got the the hot key set up <laughs> um, uh, so 15 seconds there and we'll just i'll tell you what we'll copy and uh, we'll paste that there and we'll do the the warning what one as zero five so we've got five seconds and that one will do that caution one's at 15 as well and we'll do that to five we'll leave that at five you can do it so it auto records and you can do it so it selects a scene at the end or you can do timer end text so we'll do the timer end text for now uh time up uh i oh know that's it now i've got a better one for you subscribe to the channel there you go so make sure you do subscribe to the channel <laughs> uh, and so we'll just give you an example we're just going to start this one so it's going to start down from from 30 seconds it's going to make it all the way down so at 15 seconds it should change can we change it to that color i don't like that red so we're going to change it to that quickly we're going to start that again we're going to start that one again because i don't like that red i want to change that one i want to be a bit different all right so we're going to get to going to count down nicely and when we hit 15 seconds in theory there you go it changes to yellow or you can't see oh my bad it has changed to yellow <laughs> forgot what zoomed in we get to five seconds we get to fire there it'll count down to there and then it changes that and then obviously you have to change the size of the, the text and everything to make it fit but you can just experiment with that as well the other bit we can do with this um you can have it so that it starts when you get the the filter to be visible again and um, the other bit we can do so we can go to hotkeys and we can set up a hotkey for them so i believe i had this so reset i had it control alt f1 and we can start and stop it uh, with F, control alt f2 and i have also added this into um my stream deck and obviously you can name it and call it and put it in whatever you want so now on my stream deck once i do this and press ok we can reset it back to the 30 and then we can start it with a stream deck as well uh, and obviously if you've got things like the onboard bq box stuff like that if you get it so it sets to go on um uh when it when the the source becomes visible then you can obviously set different so there you go um chat commands or channel points stuff like that and start the countdown and it just gets a bit more creative with it especially with the uh um where is it well i mean my brain's not working today um but we're going to keep going um especially if you want to add in sounds to it as well so or even a switch seat uh, switch a scene so if we did want to do it so we there we go so we're going to select that to two uh we're just actually going to change the time to say 20 seconds just for now just to knock off a little bit more time and we'll start and stop that so now in theory once we have done all this and obviously change your fonts choose the setup how you want it to be um in theory this should change us to scene two there we go and we're scene two and there's my ugly mug again um so yeah it, it we'll just move to full screen again so it's there is more that you can do with it so obviously just experiment as always with it um it's quite a good one i found it and i've just been playing around with it just just with all the stuff that we do well i'll show you the the outline of it and the basics of it
but just keep just play around with it and make it fit to your circumstances and your stream uh, and your aesthetics anyway enough waffling from me uh, i will catch you all in the next one make sure you do subscribe to the channel there's loads more videos coming loads loads more videos shorts and everything anyway enough waffling again catch you in the next one bye